I have a cousin that I used to really care for when he was four, five, and six. We would often go to movies, Teenage Ninja Turtles, and he got addicted sort of to film management and film production because of me. Because she was too busy with the new baby and her other child that I would take him off and we would kind of go hog wild. We'd go to toy stores, we'd go to movies at the theater, we'd, we'd watch movies together, and we'd do a lot of that. I don't know that he has a, rem a remembrance of my impact on his life or not, but openly he did get impacted by me in terms of his interest. I was also the guy that spoke to him clearly about his choice to be a teacher. He was thinking of going into being an elementary school teacher or junior high teacher, much like his family, and I said, look, you can do that, but let's talk about what life is really going to be like for you. And I had that talk with him and his younger sister in my vehicle. I don't remember why I was responsible for carrying them home. I don't know if they came over to play as a family. I don't really remember. I just knew that they were, we were doing something that had to require that. And why they were brought to my house, I don't remember that either. Maybe they were being picked up there. But he was mature at that time. He was in college. He was in probably his uh, late stages of college at that time. And his little sister was probably in junior high. But what I said to him was, look, this is what you're going to earn. You stay a teacher. This is your salary. I want you to think about what a salary does for a person. It allows a person to make a marriage proposal. It allows a person to buy a wedding ring. It allows a person to get a house. It allows a person to do a thing. You can always become a teacher later in life. But at this time in your life, you need to strive as high as you can. Because in order to do that, then you have the whole world as a man. At that point, he did make some shifts in his studies. He did go on to, I believe, a master's degree in something in technology or something like that. And I frankly can't remember because I was much younger than 53. But the reality was he went on to work for a mega company in Indianapolis. He became out of college making 50 grand or so a year. He had plenty of dough. He also lived in a very inexpensive $400 a month apartment downtown so he could walk to his job and be around the young people of that space. The liars of America never give anyone any comfort, but that liar may be playing around town as me. I really thought I saw him the other day in my community, unusually here with a bald head and a full beard like me. But the liars of the force are participating in my family, destroying it every way, every day. Each sibling has lied to their rights about what they had the right to say to me do to me behind my back more than in front of me. Every one of them is a liar, and I'm humiliated by that. 